The following broadcast is brought to you by Accelerate Church. Accelerate Church is located in Amarillo, Texas at 4400 South Crockett Street. If you're in the area and would like to stop by for a service, we would love to have you. Our service times are Sundays at 10 a.m. and Wednesdays at 7 p.m. If you'd like a copy of this message for a loved one or for yourself, please give us a call so we can get a copy in your hand. Our phone number is 806-418-8913. We also invite you to download our app. Our Accelerate Church app is available on your Apple or Android device. You can listen to previous sermons preached by Pastor Jeremy, as well as watch live streaming at the touch of a button. For more information about our ministry, log on to AccelerateChurch.cc. Welcome to the Accelerate Church radio broadcast. My name is Jeremy Fowler. I'm the pastor at Accelerate Church, and we want you. We have services on Sunday, 10 a.m. Central Time, and on Wednesdays at 7 p.m. Central Time. We'd love for you to be with us in person right here in Amarillo, Texas at 4400 South Crockett Street. If you can't make it in person, you can always stream by going to Accelerate Church. Dot cc. Here I am in the studio, and once again, I have my pastor, Dr. Mark T. Barkley, with me. Hello, sir. God bless you, Jeremy, and everybody listening. It's a great day to serve God. I'm glad you're here with me. Thank what you. a blessing it is. Amen. Here we have been talking about end times, and I want to share a scripture that's very comforting. John 10, verse 27, Jesus said, My sheep hear my voice, mm-hmm. and I know them, and they follow me. And I give unto them eternal life. They shall never perish, neither shall any man pluck them out of my hand. You don't really have anything to be afraid of. No. What you need to focus on is your role here, which is hearing his voice and following him. Right. You are a former Marine, and you led Marines. And it was very important that you would hear the right voices. Talk to us about that. Uh, We trained all Marines for combat, no matter what your duty assignment is going to be. You could be a clerk or a cook or... Every Marine's a rifleman. I'm saying that for a reason. And so everyone has to learn the basics of combat. The, one of the number one basics of surviving combat, real war, and not getting killed or maimed or hurting the people or getting the people around you killed, you learn to obey the voice of your leader without question. Mm. That's how we should be with God. So there'd be four, five, six, 10, 12 different platoons of recruits. Each one had a drill instructor, a master drill instructor, and a couple of assistants. So let's just say, Jeremy, you're in platoon 1025. Okay. All right, 80 of you. I'm in platoon 1026. Not the same DIs at all, drill instructors. You got yours, I got mine. Okay. So if I go out on the tarmac... And I yell, platoon 1026, fall in. There better not be one person from 1025 obey that command and fall into the wrong platoon. Mm. Or if I want to trick them and go out there with my voice, that my people are supposed to know my voice, and I yell falsely, platoon 1025, fall in. God Almighty, help the one who would come to my voice when I have no authority in platoon 1025. You did not learn the voice of your leader. Now, here's the big deal. It's not a trick. It's not a game. In real combat, things get really crazy, really noisy, and you don't have time to think. Think. So you're trained and trained and trained and trained. So if there's multiple leaders in the field of combat and they're all yelling orders to their men to stay alive, here's how we do it, guys. You better only be tuned in to the voice of your leader or you'll follow the wrong command from the wrong voice and you're going to get yourself killed, maimed, or people around you hurt horrible. Wow. So the same thing is true. In the kingdom of God. I don't know why people don't get that this isn't, I don't say it because I'm a military or, or, or former Marine. Uh, this book's a war manual. 
There's so much talk in here about the gifts, uh, the weapons of our warfare, the armor of God, our enemy, our adversary. You know, the it's just on and on and on yeah. about how to protect ourselves, right? Yes. It's and so it's there. the same deal. We've got to know the voice of Jesus, but we've got to know a voice of our shepherd. Now, what happens if you don't have a pastor? You can listen to the guy at the hardware, the bartender. Who, yeah. Who's going to be your voice that you listen to now in everyday life when everything's great and you're drinking your little cappuccino and you're driving your nice little car and you're listening to your <laughs> nice little radio hopefully jeremy file but on your nice little radio but what happens when hell strikes come on i mean hell like not a slang word like the damned right what happens if demons strike what happens if there's death what happens with a cancer report who do you turn to now yeah what voice do you listen to now yeah. You got me preaching. Uh, well, I'll tell you what, it's good. And you reminded me of something our friend Mike Marillo talked to me about one day. And he said this in a service here at Accelerate Church in Amarillo that Hebrews 13 got him one day because he was reading this. And mm-hmm. for those that don't know Mike Marillo, mm-hmm. well, he looks like he's in the mafia. <laughs> and he acts like it too. But you see the guy, he's intimidating looking. And he said this to my congregation just point blank. He said, if you don't have a pastor, I want to know why, and I want to know who's going to give an account for your soul. He said he was reading this in verse 17 of Hebrews 13, where it says, Obey them that have the rule over you. Submit yourselves, for they watch over your souls, as they must give an account that they do it with joy and not with grief. Uh, or that's, uh, wait, wait, can you read that again, please, that last part? <laughs> that they may do it with joy. Uh, uh, I, I think, I, can you do that one more time? That they may do it with joy. Uh-huh. Give an account Uh to God. Why? It says it is unprofitable for you. Not for the pastor. Right. Not unprofitable for the pastor because you disobeyed. You ran away. You didn't listen. It's it's unprofitable for you. Yeah, because you listened to the wrong voice. Why do you think the enemy has been around longer than any human, by the way, but why do you think he uses the same old trick and humans still fall for it? Do you know why there's cults? Not the occult. That's satanic. That's pretty clear. Right. The reason there are cults. Now, most people don't know what a cult is. There's 10 points to prove what a cult is. Yeah. They, they don't know that. They Most people that claim, say, like your church is a cult, they probably can't even spell the word. Right. They don't. They, I don't mean that as an insult. I just mean, like, they don't know what it means. But there are cults. Right. And they do get out of bounds. And there are overbearing leaders that overpastor and control people. We got to admit that. Yes. Now, I've never had that problem because I don't think anybody's ever listened to me that closely. <laughs> but I'm just saying, the reason there are cults is so Satan can, can keep breeding in every generation. You see, you can't trust those preachers. They're just wanting to control you. They just want what you got. They're just really all bad people. And look it. And then he pop goes the weasel. Yep. He pops out this... Well, look at this guy, and look what happened here, and 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 then people say, I don't want to submit. That must be a dirty word. That's a cuss word. That's a submit word. Yeah, it's controlling. But, but it's not. It's in the Bible. It's a Bible word. And it's profitable if you can do it. Yeah, Mike Marillo asked my congregation, he said, well, who's going to give an account for you then if you don't have a pastor? And that's something you need to think about because really this week we've been talking about end times, people departing from the faith. Some get afraid when they hear these scriptures. But let me just say this. Those that have a pastor that actually knows your name, that's how you know you have a pastor, by the way. If he or doesn't, better yet, you know your pastor's name. <laughs> that's, that's right. If you have a pastor, then you can be protected. If you have your Bible and you study it, you can be protected. But these are things that you're going to have to do. It's not going to happen like an apple falling off a tree and hit you on the head. You know, To, yeah. to be protected in this yeah. dangerous moment that we're in in human history— you're going to have to find the things that God's given you, a gift that God's given you. There's gifts that God's given you, and that's always caused controversy. If I was to sit here and talk about speaking in other tongues, there's going to be a group of people that hear this that retort back, oh, that's weird stuff. I don't want to hear it. That's strange. That's odd. Now, this is a gift. And Jesus said in Luke 11, you know how to give good gifts to your children. Yeah. Yeah. How much more will the Father give the Holy Spirit yeah. to them who ask? Yeah. So in other words, he's telling us this is a gift. To the born-again child of God, the, the baptism of the Holy Spirit. Well, there's controversy about that. Well, one of those is a pastor. 
Yeah, and Ephesians 4. Why do you think the enemy is going to come and use the same old trick, like I was saying a while ago, and cause this tumultuousness between you and your pastor or try to? Why? Yeah. Why don't you do that to the guy that you go get your oil change from? Yeah, the barber, the car dealer, the <laughs> I don't no have spiritual that. warfare. I don't have that agitation yeah. or that, you know, right. you know what I'm talking about. Right. The opportunity to, well, I quit. Well, that's it. I'm done. You know, I, I actually haven't dealt with that in a long time. But my point is, why is that the way most people live? It's because it's from the devil. Because he don't want you, he doesn't want you to endure sound doctrine all the way to the end. He doesn't want you to endure to the end. Jesus said in Matthew. Right. Those who endure to the end shall be saved. Pastor, that scripture, I meditated on that. Oh, it's a simple one. I've known it my whole life. I don't remember not knowing it. One day I was just meditating on that, and it really it kind of startled me to stop and think, why would the master even need to say that? And what if you don't? And what happens if you don't? So the, what, is the Lord lying? Is he bluffing? Do you know more than God? No. Everybody? No, no, and no. He's not bluffing. He's not lying. So if mm. he said... Those who endure to the end shall be saved. Well, what about those who don't? I got to go there. I got to think that way. I got to say to Mark Barclay, now, wait a minute, Mark. Uh, do you fit that verse? Yeah. What are you doing to, biblically to endure to the end to make sure you're saved? You know, some people think that's negative. I, I'm thankful for those type of verses because on the days where you are faced with all kinds of stuff, especially as a pastor, you know about that after 50 plus years in ministry, there's days that you're not feeling it, but you go on anyway. You don't ever quit. I appreciate that about you, pastor. That's always been one of your mottos is don't quit. Don't give up. But let me just say as a Christian, if you're listening to us right now, if you've given up, you can still call on the Lord. If you're breathing, it's not too late. It's not too late. The Lord, if he could save someone like me, he could save someone like, like yes. you, Pastor. He could save anyone. Yes. All you have to do is yes. call out to him and mean it yes. and follow the Lord Jesus Christ. I think of a scripture in Hebrews that says this, chapter 12, verse 15, Look diligently, lest any man fail of the grace of God. Which, by the way, that alone would shock some people, that you could fail the grace of God. But it says, Lest any root of bitterness spring up, trouble you, and thereby many be defiled. Well, a lot of pain, a lot of hurt, a lot of heartache. It could be avoided simply by looking diligently, paying attention to what God said to do, and just doing it. Like you said at the beginning of this broadcast, when you were in the Marines, you had to hear the right voice. Yeah. You had to respond. That's right. uh, there were nations that were dependent upon this. There were, yeah. you know, people's lives were on the line. But in the kingdom, it's even more important, isn't it? Yeah, because what did I fight for? Liberty, freedom, et cetera, et cetera. Of course, there's reasons to fight. We don't just go to war because we're warmongers. Right. Anybody that's been to war hates it. Yeah. Right? But that's a whole different cause. The commodity that you and I are fighting for, Pastor, is the souls of men. Wow. To escape hell at all cost. Wow. And another thing on this we should study someday. We're born again. Technically, you're not saved yet until you cross the finish line. And why did the Lord say there'd be some who run the whole race, but they cheated mm. when they crossed the line and they weren't allowed to keep it? They lost Boy, their victory. That should wake you up. We're out of time. This is the Accelerate Church broadcast. My name's Jeremy Fowl. I'm the pastor at Accelerate. And I hope that you'll tune in. By the way, if you want to know information on Dr. Barclay's ministry, simply go to marktbarclay.com. We'll talk to you tomorrow here on the Accelerate Church radio broadcast. You've been listening to the Accelerate Church radio broadcast. And if you'd like a copy of this message for a loved one or for yourself, please give us a call so we can get a copy in your hand. Our phone number is 806-418-8913. We also invite you to download our app. Our Accelerate Church app is available on your Apple or Android device. If you're in the area and would like to stop by for a service, we would love to have you. We're located at 4400 South Crockett Street in Amarillo, Texas, and our service times are Sundays at 10 a.m. and Wednesdays at 7 p.m. We look forward to meeting you very soon.